everyone, and welcome back to our community. It's Jen, and today, as per your request, we are trying out a trampoline cardio workout class here in New York City to give you guys a tour of the nest, which is where we are. And I have the co-founder, Ali, here to tell us all about what trampoline cardio even is, right over here. Hi, Ali. Hi there, <laughs> welcome. Thank you. Do you want to give us a tour of the studio? Yeah, of course. Okay. Welcome to our space. It's very open, very light. Yeah, nice and airy windows. Yeah. This is where all the magic happens. This is where, you know, the front of class and this is where our trampolines live. Okay, so why don't you tell us a little bit, why would someone use a mini trampoline in a workout class? It sounds kind of crazy, but yeah. there are truly so many good reasons why you should be on a mini trampoline. First and foremost, it's low impact. So if you look at these trampolines, they have springs and a really soft mat. And so what happens is when you're bouncing on a trampoline, the trampoline absorbs the weight of your landing. Whereas if you're jumping on the floor, it's your body and your joints are absorbing the weight of your landing. And over time, that can be really hard on your body. It puts a lot of strain on your joints and your bones, and it can not be so great and not have a lot of longevity in people's lifetimes. Wow, so it's actually better for even your bone density and your yeah. joints. So do you find that a lot of injured people would come to use a trampoline? Yeah. Yes, we have so many people who don't even know that it's low impact and they say, I really wanna try this, but I can't do cardio anymore because of my knees or my hips or whatever. And trampoline ends up being the best thing for them because you get that high intensity workout, which you can attest to, yes. <laughs> but it's all low impact. So it keeps them safe, whether they are, you know, a few months out of recovering from an injury or a couple years down the line where their body's just different. Yeah, what I actually noticed was I'm sure a lot of people are actually more concerned about not being coordinated enough or like walking into a trampoline class for the first time. <laughs> I'm myself not a dancer. I'm so uncoordinated, my boyfriend can attest, he makes fun of me all the time. I found that because of the buoyancy of the trampoline, it was actually easier to stay on the beach, twist and turn than it might be in like your typical dance class. So yes, there was some choreography that you built on mm -hmm. along the way, but it was actually a little easier to keep up because of the flexibility of the bounce. I love that. I mean, I, I think so too, yeah. but not everyone feels that way. I think that there is a barrier to entry. When you see the trampoline, it can be intimidating, especially if you're looking at our social media page and sometimes we post more advanced combos. And yes, you can get to that, but it's a learning process. And I think it's important to remember that it's not like running, right? Like you walk your whole life, so you're like, oh yeah, I know how to run. But trampoline is a totally different ball game and it's something else that you need to get a little bit used to, but it feels so good on your body. It's so super fun and specifically here we have a ton of different beginner classes just to help people get comfy, understand the trampoline and get it into your body. We always say like around the fourth or fifth class, that's when things start to click and you hop on and you're like, oh, this doesn't feel so strange anymore. Absolutely. So do you have any tips for anyone who might be walking in for the first time, a little intimidated, what advice would you have? Because I know I was like, oh my God, am I gonna walk in and see people like doing flips <laughs> and like crazy stuff? Am I walking into uncharted territory here? What advice do you have to anyone who's intimidated? I think two major tips. First one is stay low. So the mini trampoline is very different than what you might know of, which is possibly a backyard trampoline or a trampoline park. And that's where, you know, we're used to doing the flips and doing really high jumping. And that's not what we're doing here. You're staying low through the knees and you're really only picking your feet up about six inches at its highest right. and it's about pressing down instead of jumping high. So a lot of that fear of needing to do these big crazy movements or the fear that people have of potentially falling off gets eliminated because you're really not jumping that high. And then the second thing I always say is try not to take yourself too seriously, right? Like you're on a trampoline, let yourself have fun. It feels so good and it's just a joy to move your body. So let that be the main focus. And if you look a little bit silly along the way, that's all right. For someone who's more anxious and like controlling, 
It's a great exercise to just let go of that and just let the trampoline take you where you need to be taken. So I really loved it. It's kind of impossible not to smile when you're on a trampoline. Yes, we say that all the time. You just have to surrender to the trampoline. Right. And I think here we do everything to the beat of the music. So we're always going for music that's going to make you feel happy and you know rejuvenated as you go along. And then on top of it, there's that choreography element. And so not only are you learning something along the way that's pushing you to stay focused the entire time the second that your mind wanders you've right. maybe missed the next move so you really have to stay present yeah that's why the class totally flies by too. yeah it goes by so fast <laughs> and there's tons of towels here because it was actually really <laughs> sweaty my face was beet red obviously because of the cardio but what I actually loved was specifically at the nest there was a lot of low impact workouts as well. And like we use these ball of weights that I'll show you in a minute, which was awesome. How did you come up with that, the balance between the cardio and then also the low impact work? Because I found that you were using the trampolines not just for the cardio, but also for balance. Mm -hmm. So we would like stand up and put our weights in our hands, which you could see here. Is that another part of the trampoline? Is it testing your balance? Is it helping with that? Yeah, absolutely. I, one thing that we love to do is use the trampoline in every way possible. So you can bounce on it, you can high bounce on it, which is a little more just kind of like free form and getting good blood flow. And then you can stand on it, you can flip it up on its side and use it as a bar assist. You can use it as a standing desk. <laughs> you can right. do so many different things with it. Um, but our goal was to keep everything low impact. So our entire method is low impact. Bounce is our bread and butter. That's what we're known for. And then we also offer sculpt classes as well. So that work that you saw with the weights and the equipment, we do full classes with just that. Some classes like that using the trampoline and then some just on the floor. If people, you know, there are people who don't want to do trampoline and that's perfectly okay. And we have something for them too. So what are some other benefits? I know we spoke about like your joints and cardiovascular health. Are there any other specific benefits with using the mini trampoline? Yeah, I think a major one is lymphatic drainage. So, which is yes. hot topic. Everybody loves lymphatic yes. drainage. Yes, tell us about that because I've heard that. Yeah, so your lymphatic system is the only internal body system that isn't self-sustaining, which means it requires some type of self-massage or movement to get things going. And so movement in general is really great for lymphatic drainage, but bounce actually helps expedite that process a little bit because when you're jumping, even though you're not jumping that high, when your feet are off the trampoline, you're weightless. And then when you hit the trampoline again, you are four times your weight. So the gravity of that landing coming back down is really a kickstart for all of those lymph nodes throughout your body. And it helps circulate lymph fluid throughout the body gather up all those toxins and drain it right up. Okay, I feel like I ask this in every video. <laughs> Does it help you poop? Um, I would say yes. I'm I, not gonna say guarantee because everyone's on their own yeah, journey, you know? It helps move Honestly, things along, I feel like. Coffee and a bounce. That was my morning. <laughs> that, that was my morning and I swear right after I was like, Something's happening. Something's happening and I think it's the <laughs> lymphatic drainage and detoxification. Yeah. Are there any benefits when it comes to flexibility by chance? Yeah, absolutely. So think about if you're kicking your leg on the floor, your standing leg has nowhere to go, right? But on the trampoline, you can kind of sink down into the mat a little bit. So it allows you to get stretch in both directions. And then on top of it, it's that low impact piece again. So it helps you work through and get repetitions and it gets you really warm. And so you can move into positions where maybe you wouldn't be so flexible on the floor a little bit easier on the trampoline. That's incredible. How often would you recommend someone trampoline? I say three times a week. Okay. I think it just, it's so much fun. And honestly, once you start, it's like Addictive. three times a week doesn't even feel like enough because yeah. you're just having so much fun. And we always say that bounce is the last stop on your fitness journey. If you're looking for something and you've had a hard time connecting with something or finding movement that feels good for your body and your soul, bounce really feeds that for a lot of people. Yeah, finding joy in movement yeah. too. Because I know for me, I hate dance cardio because I always just feel terrible about myself Your because calves I can't day. dance. And so finding this where it's just like a little more playful and mm -hmm. less like 
you need to have like these sharp movements. I don't know, I just found like, if you are lacking joy in your movement, this could be a really great place to try out. Yeah, it's a great addition. All right, so to wrap things up, I wanna give you my personal thoughts on taking the class this morning. So what I did love is that I feel like in any cardio, like fun, jumping around class like this, music is key. And they had playlists like straight from Spotify, trending, really fun music. So that made the class even more fun. How many times can I say fun in a sentence? <laughs> So like I said before, I found that honestly, you can't help but smile and have fun while you're jumping around, even if you have no idea what's going on. Yes, there's choreography, but even if you just wanna like jump and vibe out while you lost the choreography, it's totally fine and it's really fun. And you still get those benefits by taking your break because you're just jumping and having fun during your break instead of just sitting there quietly, you know, in a workout class. I do love that you build up to a combo in the class. So it's similar to, a dance class where you're learning the choreography along the way by doing like just one step, then you learn the next step, then you put it all together in the end. So it makes it a little less intimidating and a little easier to follow along. And you're so focused on figuring out the moves and jumping in the right way that the class really flies by. Specifically at The Nest, this studio in New York City, but maybe your own local studio has the same thing. They have a foundations basics class where it's still, you get, I got an insane workout. Like it was such a good workout. My face was beat red. I was sweating so much, but it was a beginner's class. So it was a lot less intimidating and you'll see other beginners there and you won't feel like you're walking into like a level eight dance class. As I mentioned before, they also use ball weights here, which I loved because you're not jumping the entire time. It's not all cardio, but you're also able to use the trampoline as a prop in the stretch at the end. And then also we did like single leg deadlifts at one point and we were balancing the one leg on the trampoline. So I feel like I got a lot of flexibility and balance work in there as well, fully taking advantage of the trampoline, but not just using it for cardio, which honestly surprised me. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you are new, comment down below what you want me to try next and I will see you next week. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and let me know if you try out a trampoline class.